some guys know how to use the tongue really well on a woman. Some don't. Some are not very sure they are doing it properly. You're not sure that she's actually enjoying it. Because women are very good with faking all those. <laughs> oh, oh, women are good with faking moaning. I know that. But whichever category you belong to, you can be sure of one thing. This video is going to be super informative and super helpful to you. So that the next time you take your hair down there, we're going to get her coming with your tongue. My name is Goldero. Thank you for stopping to watch this video. Please subscribe to my channel. If you've not, it's free. Just hit on the subscribe button below and that's it. And also, please like this video, share this video, drop your comments. I love feedback. Thank you very much. Let's get right into it. There are two things to note before you get down there. I mean, there are two things to note to have that pleasurable experience. Because it's also pleasurable to you guys when you use your tongue there. Abby, or is it not? I think it is. <laughs> to make sure that both of you have a swell time. The first thing to note there is this. Please do not go down there after you just finish eating any kind of food that has pepper. Hey, please don't go down there if you just finish eating food that has any kind of pepper. Please, so that your pleasure will not turn to pain. If you must go down there, make sure to thoroughly rinse your mouth. <sighs> rinse it very well before you go down there. The second thing to note is this. The vagina does not smell like flowers. Neither does it smell like designer perfume. It doesn't. So it's not a matter, it's not a thing, or it's not when you go down there with your tongue, then you start twisting your face as if <laughs> you're very irritated with what you're doing. Because it shows, it shows on your face. You can sense it, you can see it. And it's a big turn off. Okay, so to help you and to help her, make sure she washes down there before you start. Let her use water to rinse the place very well before you start. Or you can use wipes to clean the place really well before you put your tongue so that you will not be irritated, okay? Because I know sometimes that place can smell awful so that you will not be irritated so that you'll be able to give her maximum pleasure. So we're going to be using this as our vagina specimen. I think I should turn it this way, yeah. I know it doesn't really look like a vagina, but this is a shape now. Let's just manage this one, okay? Don't worry about this. You're going to get all the information that you need. So first things first. When you get down there and you start, your tongue movement should be this way, you know. You're going up, you're going down, you're going up, you're going down, you're going up, you're going down. Resist the temptation to do this with your tongue or the clitoris. I mean, you guys are fond of that. I mean, I know that place is calling you, bring your tongue, do it like this. Uh-uh. As much as this place is for pleasure, when you do that, what you're actually doing is you're tickling her, not really pleasuring her. That place tickles. So when you do this, it's it's like you're tickling her. So you're reducing the pleasure she's supposed to have. So just concentrate on going up and going down and going up and going down. Deeply. Like as if you're having sex with her with your tongue. Okay? So it's a deep tongue down, a deep tongue up, a deep tongue down, a deep tongue up. Then, every now and then, not so often you suck the vagina. You know, you use your mouth to just suck the whole place. You suck everything. Mm. Release. And then you continue the movement up, deep, down. And then I know that temptation to do this is always very, very strong. I know. So you can, I mean, once in a while, just do this. But for a very short period, and don't, you don't even do it for one minute or 30 seconds. If you do it a little, stop. And continue the downward movement and the upward movement and the downward movement and the upward movement. Then, while doing this, you take a finger or two to put into the vagina hole. Now, just put it there. I did not say you should finger her. I did not say you should shake it. Uh, just put it in there. Okay, I hope you're seeing my explanation clearly. You know, just put it inside the vagina hole. Put it inside the vagina hole and leave it there. Don't move it. And then you continue the tongue movement up and down. Up and down. Now, only move the finger if she asks you to. Normally, women will not plainly say this. We are not very bold when it comes to sex. We don't really say what we want, how we want it during sex. We have that challenge as women, no matter how bold a woman is. When it comes to sex, we are always a little bit shy. So, but her body gestures will let you know if she wants you to do this or if she's okay with you just leaving it there. But generally, it's women love it when you just leave it there then continue the tongue movement up, down, deeply, up, down, up, down. Then at some point, you take out the finger, you put your tongue into the vagina hole now. 
the tongue is slimy. There is no way all it can really go inside. I know, but you just attempt to. You see, you to any level that you can, you attempt to put the tongue into the vagina hole. Oh, my shit is crazy. You attempt to put the tongue into the vagina hole. You bring it out. You can just do like a deep thrust, okay? Like a deep thrust, a few for a few moments. I, now I don't know how many minutes you want to spend on um the what do they call it now on the head, but I, I can show you of one thing. Women don't come very fast though on a normal day. So to make her to come, you might need to spend close to 10 minutes. Yes. You're the one that wants to give her pleasure now. So <laughs> so you put your tongue in there and uh, then while your tongue is in here, your finger can come this way on the clitoris, not moving it. Just steady here and your tongue is doing the trusting. And after that, you can bring your tongue out, continue the up and down movements with your two finger inside the vagina hole. You keep it steady. And it is very important also that during this process, watch her body reaction, look at her face, get to know which one she's enjoying better so that you can concentrate on that one. Not that you're, you're here, nearly you're here. See, if you start like this, take it for like two minutes first without changing. Just do the exact same thing for like two minutes to build the body up for like two minutes straight without changing before you know you can do this and when you do this also you know i mean you put the finger in and the tongue up and down and up and down let that continue that for a while before you change don't always just changing and changing and changing no continue that for a while before you change okay it's very very important and guy believe me you will feel her coming on your fingers. You will feel her coming on your fingers. But you have to be patient. You have, I, I need to say this. You have to be patient because she might not come as fast as you would like her to come. And you should also know that when you're able to get a woman really, really wet with your head, sex becomes super, super sweet. I mean, you would enjoy sex to the fullest because when you enter that place, Mm, oh my goodness and you should know that a woman can come more than once during sex so that she has already climaxed during this i mean when you are giving her head does not mean she will not still come during sex we are not like you men that once you come you need time to recuperate no after this when you're having sex she can still come so don't say okay what if if she comes now then she's not going to come again when we have sex no she can still come okay she can still come and uh doing this the way i just showed you it's quite simple and easy but guy it will make a woman go nuts ah it will make her keep coming back to you i have a friend whose guy's penis is small i just have to also say this now for the guys who believe that their pennies are too small to satisfy their woman if you can give her a good head she will not care jack about your penis it will not it will mean nothing to her because you already satisfy her enough with your head i have a friend whose guy whose guy what am I saying? I have a friend whose boyfriend penis is really small. She told me that he cannot really satisfy her. It's really, really small. But the guy is so good with head. So she keeps going back. She keeps going back because the guy is so good with head. So for those of you who believe that your penis is too small for so, for your girl, you know, I mean, no penis is too small, but depending on the kind of woman you're dating. So women naturally have large vaginas, okay? So it might be too small for her. The kind of head you give her, eh? will make her forget about the size of your penis so please thank you for staying to the end you see this thing i just talked about the next time you go to give head do it the way i just said ross you will come back here to share the testimony ah i very important make sure you come back to share the testimony and i have a video hey don't go i have a video on how to get a woman to climax this talks about the sex itself you should watch that video just check the comments i will drop the link the link is in the comment section so you can just watch that video and you can be sure that the next time you go making love, it's going to be boom. <laughs> Thank you for watching to the end. Make sure to subscribe. Please um, like the video, share the video, drop a comment. I see you in my next video. Gracias. Bye-bye.